ADAX, for the good of humanity. Hello. If you're watching this, then congratulations. You have been specially chosen to be a part of the most expansive secret organization in the history of mankind, the SCP Foundation. What is the SCP Foundation? We are an international covert agency tasked with the monitoring and containment of paranormal entities and anomalies. To put it bluntly, we protect you from the things you don't know about. With bases and research centers worldwide, and no government affiliation to limit our resources and regulations, we have limitless manpower and technology at our fingertips. SCP stands for Secure, Contain, Protect, and that is exactly what we do. The items, objects, creatures, and subjects we procure vary from the microscopic to larger than life, and everything in between. All of these entities fall on a spectrum of danger and or threat to humans, which are as follows. Object Class Safe Safe class objects are those anomalies that are either sufficiently understood that they are now completely and reliably contained on a permanent basis, or otherwise do not trigger their anomalous effects unless intentionally activated. Classifying an anomaly as safe, however, does not mean that handling or activating it does not pose a threat. And personnel are to be reminded that all special containment procedures and safety protocols are to be observed at all times. Object Class Euclid Euclid class objects are anomalies that are either insufficiently understood or inherently unpredictable, such that reliable containment is not always possible, but do not pose sufficient threat to qualify for Keter classification. The vast majority of anomalies catalogued and contained by the Foundation are initially classified as Euclid until they are either sufficiently understood or exhibit sufficient danger to qualify for reclassification. In particular, any anomaly that exhibits autonomy, sentience, and or sapience is generally classified a Euclid class entity at minimum, due to the inherent unpredictability of an object that can act and think on its own. Object Class Keter Keter class objects are anomalies that pose an inimical threat to the safety of Foundation personnel and the rest of mankind, and either require extensive complex procedures to contain, or cannot be fully contained by the Foundation's current technology and knowledge. These anomalies are generally considered the most dangerous ones in Foundation containment, and all research efforts are directed towards enabling more reliable containment of such anomalies, or, as a last resort, the timely neutralization or destruction of its anomalous effects. Object Class Neutralized Neutralized anomalies are those that are no longer anomalous, either through having been intentionally or accidentally destroyed, disabled, or otherwise no longer function or exhibit anomalous effects. Object Class Explained Explained anomalies are those that are completely and fully understood to the point where their effects are now explainable by mainstream science, have been debunked as a false or mistaken classification, or are so widespread and publicly disseminated such that containment is no longer possible. Object Class Thaumiel Thaumiel class objects are... Now you're probably wondering where you fit into all of this. Well, wonder no more. We will now explain our classification levels briefly. There are five class levels in the Foundation. They range A through E and are as follows. Class A personnel are those deemed essential to Foundation strategic operations and are not allowed direct access to anomalies under any circumstances. When circumstances require Class A personnel to be in direct proximity to such anomalies, such as in the case of facilities housing containment units, Class A personnel are not allowed access to the areas of the facility containing such anomalies, and are to be kept in a secured area at all times. In the case of an emergency, Class A personnel are to be immediately evacuated to a designated and secure off-site location. O5 council members are always Class A personnel. 
Class B personnel are those deemed essential to local Foundation operations and may only be granted access to objects, entities, and anomalies that have passed quarantine and have been cleared of any potential mind-affecting effects or memetic agents. In the event of a containment breach or hostile action against the Foundation, Class B personnel are to be evacuated to a designated secure off-site location as soon as possible. Class C personnel are personnel with direct access to most anomalies not deemed strictly hostile or dangerous. Class C personnel that have had direct contact with potentially mind-affecting or mimetic properties may be subject to mandatory quarantine and psychiatric evaluation as deemed necessary by security personnel. In the event of a containment breach or hostile action against a Foundation facility, Non-combatant Class C personnel are to either report to secure lockdown areas or evacuated at the discretion of on-site security personnel. Class D personnel are expendable personnel used to handle extremely hazardous anomalies and are not allowed to come into contact with Class A or Class B personnel. Class D personnel are typically drawn worldwide from the ranks of prison inmates convicted of violent crimes, especially those on death row. In times of duress, Protocol 12 may be enacted, which allows recruitment from other sources, such as political prisoners, refugee populations, and other civilian sources that can be transferred into Foundation custody under plausible, deniable circumstances. Class D personnel are to be given regular mandatory psychiatric evaluations and are to be administered an amnestic of at least Class B strength or terminated at the end of the month at the discretion of on-site security or medical staff. In the event of a catastrophic site event, Class D personnel are to be terminated immediately, except as deemed necessary by on-site security personnel. Class E is a provisional classification applied to field agents and containment personnel that have been exposed to potentially dangerous effects during the course of securing and establishing initial containment over newly designated anomalous object, entity, or phenomenon. Class E personnel are to be quarantined as soon as possible, monitored, and screened for potentially harmful changes in behavior, personality, or physiology and may only return to duty after being fully debriefed and cleared by psychiatric and medical staff. Now the biggest secret in the world wouldn't be a secret at all if it wasn't for the compartmentalization of information. But we'll save that for your next assignment briefing. In summary, SCPs are paranormal anomalies that either pose a threat to human life or represent an outlying factor within the known sciences not yet understood by humanity. Personnel classifications range from A to E in descending order from critical importance to expendable in droves. Now, you may end up seeing some amazing things while on the job here, and hopefully you're ready for your first assignment. And if you aren't, then don't worry. You will be. See you next briefing, if you make it that far. Dismissed. <laughs>